Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going over how to create tropical leaves. Tropical designs have been popular for a little while and it doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. In the video, I will be using the brush tool and just a quick note about the brush tool before we get started. You may have heard me mention the stabilizer in other videos and I want to show you very quickly what it does, why it's important, and you can decide if it's something you actually want to use or not. So I've already grabbed the brush tool. I have turned the stabilizer off. I'm just going to try and do a straight line. And this was with my mouse. Uh, you can obviously use Affinity with a Wacom tablet, but as you can see, it gets every little bump along the way. Um, this is when I move my thumb because I have one of the uh, the mice with the uh, like rolly ball on the top. Now with the stabilizer turned on, I'm just going to do the same thing. And you can see it's a much smoother line. I mean, there is a little bit in there, but for the most part, it is quite a bit straighter than when the stabilizer is turned off. For me, because I know that my thumb moves a lot when I'm using the mouse, uh, the stabilizer just makes sense for me. If you're using a Wacom tablet, you may not have to use it quite as much, but that was just, Little quick reference on the stabilizer and the brush tool. So the first leaf I'm going to make is probably one of the more popular tropical leaves. It's kind of that one that looks like an upside down heart, at least to me. So you could even use the heart shape to get started with this. You can also use the pen tool or the brush tool. I plan on using the pen tool for this one. So go around and make almost like a heart and then a point at the top. And you don't have to worry about getting it too perfect because you can obviously go back in and readjust everything. Okay, so when you're happy with the shape, you can go ahead and change the color. Mine has a stroke, so I'm turning the stroke off. Once again, you can always change this. So this is not as round as I would like. So I'm going to convert this to a smooth and it adds those handlebars on. And both of these, I actually am going to try the smooth as well. It may take some time to get it exactly as you want. Okay, so there is the basic shape of the leaf. Going back in with the pen tool. There's a lot of times in these leaves there are some like little cutouts. So I just want to add a cutout in here. And just so you can see, I'm going to make these darker colors for right now. So just going around with the pen tool. Go ahead and select all of those and the actual leaf itself. And then at the very top, go to subtract. And there's usually also some little holes throughout the leaf. It's really easy to just do that with the ellipse tool. Make some ovals and circles and can even overlap some of these. So once again, grab all of the shapes that you just created. Along with the leaf itself and subtract. So now with the brush tool, um, right now the shape is actually pretty large. So I'm going to Decrease that size with the left bracket. And then draw one straight line down. 
And then you can go in and draw some veins for the leaf. So I like to grab all of the pieces and go to layer, expand stroke. And then I like to make them one shape by going back up to that top and hitting add. For the next leaf, I'm actually going to start with kind of that stem. So you could do it with the pen tool or you can do it with the brush tool. I'm just gonna do it with the brush tool. You can choose a different color and then draw a straight line or curve it. So once again, obviously when you're designing, do what you're comfortable with or what you prefer. So you could draw this with the brush. You could use the pen tool to create the leaves or you could actually use the shapes. For example, you can use the ellipse tool and create a long oval and then convert to curves. It automatically switches to the node tool, select that top and bottom point holding shift and then convert up at the top to the sharp and you have a leaf. You can add some dimension by changing up the leaves, um, pulling in the sides some. You can hold Option or Alt and grab one end of the handlebar and move just the one side, same for the other, and really create some different shapes. And you are just going to layer this around that stem. You could also use that same shape that you've created all the way down. Make sure to enlarge a little as you're going. In fact, you go ahead and duplicate by hitting Alt or Option and then lining them up as you go. You can save some time if you're not switching up the shapes very much by copying and pasting. So Command C, Command V, and then flipping horizontally and then just going through and placing these. That last one for the top. If you're 100% done with this, you can go ahead and expand the stroke. Grab everything and then add. So you have one shape. If you're not quite ready to be done, you can always just group things by using Command G or right click and then group. Using the same shapes I did for this, I'm just going to draw in that stem again. This one doesn't have to be very long and I'm actually going to go ahead and expand that stroke. And then using that same principle as last time, making that long oval convert to curves and then grab that top shape or that top point and convert to that sharp corner. You don't have to worry about the bottom one. I'm just going to shrink this. And rotate this around. So with this leaf, we want it to go all the way around, staying pretty much the same shape and size for now. The problem with this, if you want to rotate it as it is, you can see it's rotating towards the center of this leaf. So if we go back to this, and then go towards the top, you will see the, a button that looks kind of like a plus sign with a circle. If you select it, it brings up the center of rotation. So I want to move this from the center of that shape down to the bottom. So now if we copy and paste, so Command C, Command V, and rotate it, it's rotating exactly how we would want it. Continue that all the way around. And there's other ways of doing this. I just like this because it's making sure that it's not quite so perfect. Okay, so I am gonna go back in. I'm going to enlarge the one in the middle slightly and then the ones off to the side also slightly. And I'm actually going to decrease that stem. You can also go back and I'm going to copy and paste this behind. So Command C, Command B and then I'm going to darken that color. So with the darker one selected, you can, actually I'm gonna darken that some more. I'm going to make some more leaves. I'm just going to grab everything and group it. For the last one, I'm actually just going to use the ellipse tool and make an oval. And then using the node tool or A on your keyboard, 
you can go in and just add some extra points, convert to curves, and then you can add in some extra points just to kind of change up the shape. So once you have your leaf, just like with this one, adding in some of those shapes and cutting them out with the subtract tool, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this one. And you could actually use the ellipse tool if you wanted. Select everything and then subtract. And you'll notice a lot of times if you look at other designers, if they're doing a leaf, a lot of times they'll do like one half a lighter shade than the other. And the best way to do that is to create a rectangle over it and have that rectangle kind of like halfway down that leaf. And if you want to test it out, just drop it below that shape to create a clipping mask. So that's what the leaf would look like. Um, a lot of times when I'm designing, I like to do the clipping mask and keep it that way until I am 100% done. That way it's not a permanent thing. I can easily go back in and change it, but if you know you are done, you can select everything. And then I like to go to divide and then go in and just delete that other half that you don't need and then group that together and then go in with your brush tool. Four tropical leaves that are, um, that are on trend right now. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.